Hey guys, and welcome back. So this is going to be a quick one about uh, Truna Scale. Happens to be that I've built this server something around like a year ago. And funny enough, like a year ago, there was a plan to build it here in this room on this table and then move it down to the basement just to not use some excessive space and not make some noise or whatever here where we are spending a lot of the time. But as it usually is with the things, those temporary ones are the most long lasting ones. So the server still sits here. And today, out of the boredom, I decided to open Truna Scale dashboard and found out that, okay, we're still sitting on 24.10.1, which was the beautiful major version of the Truna Scale, which actually allowed us to use uh, Docker Compose instead of uh, Helm charts, which at least for me is much more easier. But the fresh thing is that there are new updates available and I've actually missed a new major version because there's uh, Electric Eel, the one that introduced the Docker Compose, and there's also Truna Scale Fangtude. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to update to the new version, which you will also find out how to do. And uh, so you need to select uh, the version that you plan to upgrade, 2504 here um and 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 click download updates uh i don't want to export save configuration continue download and while this is downloading we can continue to talk about some other stuff like release notes and here are the release notes for tuna scale bank two and those are actually big ones and mainly big ones um, because of one feature, the new instances, so the new virtualization of the Truna scale, but we'll get to that. So first of all, NFS over RDMA, which was a kind of anticipated feature, but this one will be available only for the enterprise user, so paid version. Uh, fiber channel support, uh, ISC, SIAX copy support through the Zval block cloning, and uh, some other minor stuff, like I wouldn't pay... At least I don't pay any big attention for this, but probably because I'm using this Truna scale as a home setup. Uh, but the big one is new experimental new experimental instances, formerly virtualization feature. And the big one is because it is actually a breaking change. There won't be any automatic upgrade of uh, your virtualization of your instances. Um, if you have them, I don't, so I'm kind of lucky, but if you do, then yeah, it's a problem. And I kind of feel for, uh, for the developers of, uh, the true NAS scale, when you are sitting on some feature that is uh, causing some pain, I'm not sure exactly, uh, what's, so what's exactly the pain here right now, but basically the new version of the true NAS uh, replaces the previous libvirt implementation with Incus for virtual machines, VMs. And it means, as I said, like if you have some instances previously, they're not going to work anymore, um, in, in the version 2504, but there is a way how to manually do that. But it happens to be that the manual migration is possible and it's also required if you do want to save all of your instances and like we can read here due to configuration and compatibilities between the previous libvirt implementation from 24.10 true nas uh, electric eel and incus in version 2504 existing virtual machine configurations do not transfer automatically during the upgrade however true nas retains storage zvols which means that you can manually recreate the previous virtual machines configuration and get them back online instances are an experimental feature intended for community testing only users with production virtual machines on true nas 2410 should not upgrade to 2504 so kind of important um i will upgrade and let me see what's the progress here uh just because as i said first of all i don't use uh um okay and Apply pending update, save configuration, confirm, continue, apply. Just because I don't have instances at all, that would be the first thing. And the second thing, this true NAS scale is just a garbage container for all of my YouTube videos and everything that I make. So I just back up everything there. So I don't really care so much if something goes out, especially with the virtualization, just because I don't use it. So. While the update is being applied, uh, we can back get back here. So what I was saying, it, it, it's a super pain 
for the Truna scale um, developers as such when you are sitting on some feature uh, that is uh, causing you some problems but you know that if you would want to switch from this feature to something else it would actually cause this situation which is a painful situation for anyone who is developing some sort of the product when you know that your users will face some incompatibility issue a good thing that at least in this case even if it's a manual work you can still kind of fix and migrate all of your instances which I'm kind of confident not everyone will be able to do that first thing. And the second thing, it's kind of like not such a big deal if you have just one instance, one virtual machine, right? But it's much more trouble if you have like uh, hundreds of them. Okay, so it looks like the upgrade is done. And let me try to log in. I have the default username admin. There is my password, which I've typed in wrong. So let me try it again. And there we go. We have a version 25.04.1. And here we go. We actually, I think, have uh, also a different dashboard. And we can add some new widgets. As example, we can make an application widget for N8N that I am running right now. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, save. There you go. This is nice. So we can make some addi additional widgets for all of the applications that we're running. And I guess it's uh, going to be worth to try out what else you can do with the dashboards. But so far, thank you for being with me in this video. I hope you learned something new. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and see you again later.